Dan, we're at Northern Light Hydroponic Garden Supply, and today I will be taking clones using Clonex. All right, and for cloning with Clonex, I have all the materials you will need for it, and I'm gonna go through them one by one. All right, all uh, the plugs we use are Root Riots, just organic uh, plugs. You can use anything like that, peat pellets, root shooters, anything like that. Uh, Clonex cloning gel, a measuring cup to put a little bit of Clonex in so you don't contaminate the whole bottle. A clean cutting tool, also alcohol to sterilize. Um, a tray. The tray goes inside the bottom one so you could put a little bit of water underneath so you'd always have humidity. And then a humidity dome. This one has vents on the top so you could open a little bit of fresh air and plant material and we have all of this available at Northern Lights. It's always a good idea to sterilize your cutting tools before taking clones. All right so what do we got? We got some uh, coleus here. Coleus material for cutting. Take your cutting. Uh, you want a full node at the top and under the next one we're gonna do a 45 degree angle. Cut off everything around the node. Dip it in the Clonex. Cut the holes a little bit. And what's that gonna do? Uh, keep all of the Clonex from rubbing off the stem when I put it in. You can also, I've done a couple times, inject your cubes with a little bit of Clonex. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just opening up the holes a little bit. All right. And take your cutting with Clonex. That's it. So we have our Clonex clones taken. Oh, <clears throat> you don't want them all to be together, right? You want to space no, them out. No, you want to space them out so they have a little bit of room. And then we're gonna put a humidity dome on this. Keep it covered for a couple days. I'm gonna spray with a mild kelp solution once or twice a day. And that's pretty much it. So it's a good idea to water them in. Okay, so we got our Clonex clones and we're gonna cover them up with a humidity dome. And dome will be closed for the first two to three days. And then after that, we will open these up. What we did with our cuttings, took them, put the humidity dome on, and then we slid them into the clone lab that we have. Um, usually I put heating mats underneath these, but it has lights. It pretty much acts like a heating mat to keep everything nice and humid. And we have been keeping this on 24 hours of constant light. You can also go to 18 hours, just your preference. We just kept this on all the time.